so continuation of last video rectangle so here question number 1 so related to rectangle question number 1 so what is the question here the perimeter of a rectangular field is 44 meter perimeter means round length is given 44 meter if the length of the field is 2 meter more than thrice the breadth it is so length of the field is 2 meter more than thrice the breadth then what is the area of the so rectangle it is okay now see here what is our plan so a rectangle it is a field is in the shape of a rectangle just like it is a field is in the shape of a rectangle so here it is given the length of a rectangular field is 2 meter more than thrice its breadth suppose let it be breadth is x so length is how much now 2 meter more than thrice its breadth what is thrice its breadth 3x if breadth is x thrice its breadth means 3x 2 meter more than thrice its breadth means plus 2 it is. So what is the length? 3x plus 2. Are the main thing is clear? 3 times anti anti tribula. So 2 more than means plus 2. So 2 more than thrice the breadth it is. Thrice the breadth is 3x. 2 meter more means plus 2 it is. Okay. Now length is 3x plus 2 and breadth is x it is. Now here perimeter is given. Perimeter means 2 into L plus B it is. So 2 into so L plus B, L is uh, 3x plus 2 plus uh, breadth is here x it is. So it is given 44 meters it is. Perimeter is given, perimeter means 2 into L plus B. Now what is its value? Take this 2 in this side or directly cancel with the 2, 220 is gets cancel it is. Now 3x plus x is how much here? 4x. So plus 2 equal to 22 it is. Now take this 2 also in this side, minus 2 it is. 4x equal to how much you got? 22 minus 2 it is 20 you got. So 4x is 20. What about x equal to? By taking 4 in this side by 4 it is 5. So x is 5. x is 5 means we know the width and uh, uh, breadth and length it is. What is the breadth now? x it is 5 meters. 5 meters. What is the length now? So 3x 3 into 5 15 plus 2 17 it is. 17 meters. Now we require the area of the field. What is the area? We know length into breadth it is. So length into breadth. So length is 17, breadth is 5, it is 17 into 5. How much it is 17 into 5? 85. So square meters. So what is the area of the field? 85 square meters it is. Okay. perimeter perimeter rectangle perimeter. I think one condition shepherd. Length of the field is 2 meter more than thrice its breadth. Adi kuddika careful ga mir raigal ite chal. So breadth x anu kun nat laite. So length nt 3 times means 3x. Not only 3 times. 2 more than 3 times it is. 2 more than 3 times means 3x plus 2 it is. 3, 2 more than 3 times means 3x plus 2. So length is 3x plus 2. So breadth is x. So perimeter is given. Perimeter means 2 into L plus b. 2 into L is 3x plus 2. Breadth is x it is. 2 into L plus B equal to 44. Now by taking 2 in this side by 2 gets cancelled directly to 22. So now 3x plus 6 4x. 4x plus 2 equal 22. Now we require x by taking plus 2 also in this side minus 2. 22 minus 2 is 20. So 4x is 20 means x is how much? By taking 4 in this side by 4 x is 5. x means width we got. In a rectangular field breadth man got chess in the x is 5 meter. So length and 3 into 5 15. x is 5 gada. 3 into 5 15, 15 plus 2 is 17. So length is 17, breadth is 5. We require the area. What is the area? Length into breadth it is. So 17 into 5. So 85 square meters it is. Okay. So question number 2. The area and perimeter of a rectangle are 60 centimeter square and 34 centimeter. Then find its diagonal. So by observing here, perimeter is given 60 centimeter square, area is given 60 centimeter square, and perimeter is given 34 centimeters. We require the diagonal. Now here, so perimeter and area we require the diagonal. So what is the relation? I already discussed with you. By using that, you can calculate a general method also. You can do it. See here. What is the general method? So area is given, area is 60, area means L into B is given, L into B is given. Now perimeter is given, perimeter means 2 into L plus B is given, 2 into L plus B is 34 it is. So area is 60, perimeter is 2 into L plus B is 34 it is. We require the diagonal, so we require the diagonal, D we require. 
so that you have to calculate d value you have to calculate see here how can you calculate so say l into b l plus b so you make the plan it is l plus b whole square is again l square plus b square plus 2lb we use the same thing again l plus b whole square okay so endu konte manaku diagonal kavali diagonal ki length ki breadth ki relation undi manaku telusu so d square equal to l square plus b square so d ki l ki b ki relation square lo undi kabatti you make the square l plus b whole square what is l plus b here by cancellation with the 2 70 so 17 square equal to l square plus b square so in place of l square plus b square you have to take d square it is so we require diagonal it is plus 2 into lb area it is 60 so simplify this 17 square is 289 ah, so 2 into 60 is 120 take in this side 120 equal to how much here d square it is that the 17 square is 289 2 into 60 is 120 by taking this side minus 120 so d square so 289 minus 120 how much it is 9 8 minus 6 8 minus 2 6 2 minus 169 it is d square so it is can be written as 13 square it is 13 square d square so what about diagonal now d equal to so 13 centimeters so what is the so length of the diagonal 13 centimeters Chuan Malay Oksari, Mana Kochan Lay Micharu, area Icharu, area until length into bed each natlu, and perimeter is given, perimeter means 2 into L plus B is given. So we require the diagonal. So make the plan. What is the relation among L B, L plus B and diagonal? So L plus B whole square formula. L square plus B square plus 2 L B. L plus B is how much now? By taking 2 in this side, 17. L plus B is 17, 17 square equal to. So L square plus B square is D square plus 2 into L B. L B value is 60. So this is 120 by taking this side minus 120, 17 square is 289, 289 minus 120 equal d square. So by subtracting 169, so d square equal to 169, 169 can be written as 13 square. So d square equal to 13 square, d equal to 13. So what is the length of the diagonal is 13 centimeters it is. Now, now question number 3, in a rectangle length and breadth is increased by 10% and 20% then how much percent its area increases here okay so length is increased by 10 percent and breadth is increased by 20 percent then how much percent its area increases so we know area equal to length into breadth it is we know area equal length into breadth but length is increased by 10 percent length is increased by 10 percent and breadth is increased by 10 percent it breadth is increased by 20 percent breadth is increased by 20 percent then how much percent its area increases so the data is given in percentage we already check at anywhere the data is given in percentage you take 100 is base it is so take always 100 is base 100 in base so increases means 100 plus you have to take so decreases means 100 minus you have to take suppose 10 percent increase means 110 percent of 20% increase means 120% off, 30% increase means 130% off, so 10% decrease means 90% off, 20% decrease means 80% off, 30% decrease means 70% off, just like, so increases means 100 plus or decreases means 100 minus you have to take it is, now here length is increased by 10%, means 110% off, this is the full form, breadth is increased by 20%, means 120% off, so original value what is the original value 100 so this is the full form of that so we take 100 as base it is so in 100 you have to calculate so length is increased by 10 percent so 110 percent of breadth is increased by 20 percent 120 percent of 100 so what is 110 percent means 110 by 100 half means into 1 to 120 percent means 120 by 100 half means into 100 it is so generally this 100 gets cancelled always so two zeros two zeros gets cancelled 11 into 12 is 132 it is so we take 100 as base 100 can equal to increase 100 can equal to decrease now it is greater than 100 how much greater 32 so we say 32 percent increase 32 percent increase if the resultant value is greater than 100 how much greater that gives the percentage how much greater it is 32 so 32 percent this is the general form but need not necessarily to do calculate this you can get it in a single step so shortcut is there simple approach is there 
area means always in square unit that you have to put in your mind area is always in square unit square means you have to multiply it by two times it is so length is increased by 10 percent means simply you have to take 110 so breadth is increased by 20 percent means 120 simply by 100 you have to take that is enough so you could 100 100 cancel always gets cancel neat and has to take this one only cancel the answer so area and square any two times multiply the length 10% increase 110 breadth 20% increase 120 so by 100 so what is the resultant value here 11 into 12 so 132 so 132 means how much greater than 100 so 32 so 32 percent increase so its area is increased by how much percent now 32 percent suppose observe some more examples of this here observe some more examples of this suppose so length is increase length and breadth it is see here length so length is increased by 10 percent breadth is also increased by 10 percent so what is its area what is its area see here how can you calculate length is increased by 10 110 so breadth is increased by 10 110 so by 100 you have to do so what is here 11 into 11 121 so 21 percent increases area is increased by how much percent 21 percent suppose length is increased by 10 percent but breadth is decreased by 10 percent so what is the area so length is increased by 10 means 110 so breadth is decreased by 10 means 90 it is decrease means 100 minus so by 100 so calculate the resultant value so 11 9 how much 99 it is so 100 kana takku vaste decrease 100 kana ekku vaste increase 100 kana enta takku undi 1 means how much less than 100 so 1 so 1 percent decrease here so area is decreased by 1 percent it is suppose length is increased by length is increased by 20 percent length is increased by 20 percent breadth is decreased by 30 percent breadth is decreased by 30 percent what is the area what is the resultant area now so length is increased by 20 means 120 you have to take breadth is decreased by 30 means 70 100 minus 30 so by 100 so resultant value so two zeros gets cancelled 12 7 is 84 so less than 100 how much less than 100 so 16 so we say here 16 percent decrease so area is decreased by 16 percent just like you have to calculate so length increases decreases or breadth increases decreases is given so by using this shortcut so we can calculate how much percent so its area increases or decreases if the resultant value is greater than 100 how much greater that gives the percentage if the resultant value is less than 100 how much less that gives the resultant decrease it is now here 21 greater 21 percent increase here one less so one percent decrease here 16 less when compared with the 100 16 less it is so 16 percent decreases it is okay now question number four it is if the length of a rectangle is increased by one fourth and its width is decreased by one fourth then how much percent its area decreases here okay see here length is increased by one fourth so convert into percentage so one fourth means so 25 percent it is one fourth means 25 percent so but here length is increases by 25 percent what is given here so length is increased by 25 percent length is increased by 25 percent breadth breadth is decreased by one fourth decreased by one fourth means 25 percent it is so what is its area what is the area how much percent increases or decreases that you have to carry by taking 100 again you can do it very easily so increased by 25 percent means chapandi 125 good so decreased by 25 means 75 it is increases means 100 plus decrease means 100 minus but by in this quality 100 very simple now see here what we do what is its value <coughs> 125 into 75 by 100 25 fours 25 fives gets cancelled now multiply with the 75 into 5 5 5 is 25 5 7 is 35 37 so by 4 it is what is the value of that so 4 to cancel the ending 4 9 is 36 36 means again 1 is there 15 4 3 is 12 it is 12 means again 3 is there 30 4 7 is 28 oh. resultant value is 93.75 
resultant value is 93.75 means less than 100 if the resultant value is less than 100 decreases if the resultant value is greater than 100 increases it is so here it is less than 100 so it is decreases but how much less than 100 it is when compare with 100 how much less it is so 6.25 so we say here 6.25 percent decreases so decreases here less than 100 this value how much less to 6.25 so 6.25 percent decreases okay now this is one of the approach convert into percentage one fourth means 25 percent so length is increased by 25 percent breadth is decreased by 25 percent so increase means 125 decrease 25 means 75 by 100 so we get 93.75 and the resultant value 100 can not take on the cover to decrease any 100 can echo to increase so how much less than 100 it is 6.25 so the area is decreases by 6.25 percent this is one of the pro now another approach is also there so you can do it easily see here another approach. let it be length is one so breadth is one here so it is given in percentage 100 percent you have to take generally 100 percent means 100 by 100 base is 100 100 percent means 100 by 100 100 by 100 is one so length is one breadth is one so length is increased by one fourth length is increased by one fourth means one plus one by four it is so how much it is five by four five by four clear four one by four so now here breadth is decreases minus decreases by one fourth here so one minus one by four four minus one how much it is three by four it is three by four now what is the area increase what is the initial area what is the initial area length into breadth so 1 into 1 is 1 now what is the present area now let it be a1 what is the present area it is length so 5 by 4 into it is the breadth 3 by 4 it is what is its value 15 by 16 15 by 16 so original area is 1 present area is 15 by 16 it is less than 1 it is less than one clearly so less than one means decreases so decreases so how much percent decreases how can you calculate in percentage uh, difference 1 minus 15 by 16 difference by first value what is the first value 1 into 100 and percent symbol already one of our last class lo discuss session square law increased percent or decreased percent ela kanukovali ani cheppanu for increased percent, decreased percent, difference of two values by first value into 100 and percent symbol. So, difference of these two, 1 minus 15 by, by first value, 1 into 100 and percent symbol. So, you have to simplify this. What is this value? 16 minus 1, 16, 1 16 minus 15, 16 minus 15. So, 1 by 16. So, 1 by 16 into 100 it is. 1 by 16 into 100. So, 4 fours. So, 425 it is gets cancelled 25 by 4 6.25 percent decreases. So, how much percent its area decreases 6.2. So, this way also we can do it. But when compared with this one it is very simple converting to percentage 1 fourth is 25 percent. Okay, 1 fourth is given converting to percentage you can get it very suppose 1 third is given 1 third 1 third percent is how much 33.33 it is difficult. 33.33 percent here also 33.33 so it is difficult so for that case you follow this one third increase means one plus one by three here one third decrease means one minus one by three so you can get it very easily this approach it is okay based on the given values you have to approach any one okay so one fourth of it easy to convert just 25 percent one third is the matter so you method just you can do it very easily okay Okay, thank you to all of you. In the next video, we will discuss with you the so remaining problems.